Tonight, a Topeka family is begging for answers as they prepare to bury their husband and stepfather. We first told you about the murder on, of Reginald Moten on Tuesday night. KSNT News reporter Austin Barnes met with his family today. He joins us live tonight with their emotional reaction to a situation they call a nightmare. Brooke, Jared, a tough situation for that family as they grieve tonight as well as start planning a funeral. Now, Moten was murdered here in this southeast Topeka neighborhood, just steps away from Highland Park Central School, which is just off to my right. Now, I'm told that's where Moten was known for his friendly face as he'd welcome kids back to school on their first day each and every year. His stepdaughter tells me that was just Reggie. <laughs> The family of Reginald Reggie Moten is looking for answers as they fight through pain. I don't know how to think about daily life without Grandpa. He's like my, you know, he's my other half. It was an early morning phone call that would notify Moten's wife and stepdaughter of his killing hours after it happened. They tell KSNT News they had been calling hospitals all night, scouring Facebook pages dedicated to scanner activity and holding out hope when he didn't come home. He might have been alive when he got to the hospital, and we just hope that he wasn't in any pain and he didn't die alone. The pair say Moten was a stand up guy, a friend to anyone, and the devoted grandfather of this little girl. They had a thing where He'd always tickle her neck and, you know, she'd come in, where's Grandpa Reggie? Do you want some neck today? I guess you can have it. And that was, you know, she just, she just loved him so much and he was always silly. Jacqueline Moten says she believes there's more to the story of what happened to her husband and she urges the public to come forward. We will pay you to come forward to tell us what really occurred because he was fine. I mean, I was... I was speaking to him nonstop. Now the family remembers the man they loved and the sacrifices they say he was always ready to make to bring smiles to their faces. And where's Grandpa at right now? In heaven. That's right. Grandpa's in heaven. And watching us. Now, the family tells me they do believe there's more to this story and they want your help uh, in giving police information to help and sort all of this out. They say they're going to begin offering a $500 reward if you do have any information. They say you can submit it anonymously, submit it through Facebook, send a text message, whatever you can do to help them get answers in this case. Reporting live in Southeast Topeka tonight, Austin Barnes, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Austin. A heartbreaking story. And as we told you on KSNT News last night, 40 year old Michael Murphy has been arrested in the killing and faces a second degree murder charge.